Welcome back to Harrison by the stream. My God, this is what this is what I look like now. Uh, it's, it shouldn't be too obvious uh, that I've been watching a lot of Netflix, and basically what I'm going to tell you right now is that I read all of your comments, and uh, I just I just want to let you know it's not going unheard of. So I'm going to suggest some Netflix shows for other shows that have disappeared. So let's go through that list right now. So basically what has sort of happened is the, the, the kind of the biggest video that I've ever done for this channel is basically about why films and TV shows leave Netflix. And it's an unfortunate situation, but it does happen. The best thing you can do is just maybe breathe, think about all the other things that you're grateful in your life, and just move on. Or uh, I'm very, very happy to suggest some uh, shows and films that are actually on Netflix right now um, that you can actually watch. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go through a lot of these comments and uh, see what uh, see what gold I can find here. I'm also going to be reading them uh, with some corrections to the spelling. I, I don't know how I've cultivated this audience. This first one from McKenna YT is God give me Digimon back if they don't. I sue Netflix XP. Um, first of all. I, I wouldn't suggest suing Netflix, I don't think you can do that. Um, secondly, there is actually a lot of great um, anime on Netflix right now. Uh, for example, there is actually one <laughs> created by Jaden Smith, you can see some of the, uh, the, the trailer for it right there. Uh, I don't know if it's actually made by Jaden Smith, but Jaden Smith is in it. Yes, that Jaden Smith who doesn't believe we can see because we've got eyes. Uh, this isn't really a comment, but there's a new subscriber called I Smashed Chloe. Good on you, don't tell people. Maybe maybe Chloe wants some of her privacy. The next comment from Christina was here. They removed the two best classics, Forrest Gump and What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Uh, both of them are amazing films, absolutely incredible films. I can actually suggest there have been a few other award-winning films that are actually on uh, Netflix at the moment. For example, I highly suggest A Beast of No Nation, uh, as well as here's a few others that have been highly acclaimed. A lot of Emmy, a lot of Oscar-winning films right there, as well as a few shorts. I highly suggest you check those out. Again, these are films that aren't gonna be leaving anytime soon, mainly because they're owned by Netflix. So, I mean, you can you can definitely watch those at your leisure. The next one's from Ahmed El Siding. I'm really sorry if I've just butchered that name. I didn't finish Prison Break. Ah, oh, man, I'm really sorry I didn't finish uh, such a highly acclaimed show. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of Prison Break. I watched the first season of that when it came out uh, over a decade ago now, when it was on, like, real TV. My cat is here for some reason. Are you gonna be okay while we're shooting this, buddy? <laughs> I can, I can highly suggest Orange is the New Black, obviously a prison show, uh, as well as uh, there is a show from Europe called Money Heist, uh, which I, I've, I've heard is very, very good. Uh, but obviously uh, the first one is, is uh, obviously a prison drama comedy. I don't know how you would sort of uh, specify that one because there's some parts that are very, very funny. A lot of it is very, very, very heartbreaking and sad. But I, I, would, highly <laughs> I would highly suggest both those things. I would also highly suggest that my cat uh, just calms down a little bit, Bonnie. You're not going to be able to get that little light spot because my, my phone keeps keeps moving a whole bunch. Uh, the next one is from Alish DIY. Doctor Strange is gone! No! First of all, uh, for people who don't know, uh, Disney and uh, obviously uh, Marvel, because Disney owns Marvel, uh, a lot of their stuff is going to be leaving Netflix over the next couple of months, probably the next year. Uh, and as you may or may not know, they do have a subscription service called Movies Anywhere. Movies Anywhere is basically what Disney is trying to push for um, as a competition for Netflix. Obviously this new acquisition that, that has actually just happened a few days ago uh, between Disney and 20th Century Fox, the main reason of that acquisition is going to be a lot of their film and television which will go on movies anywhere. So I'm really sorry that you have to subscribe to a new streaming service. I mean that's a pain, that's obviously more money. But uh, yeah, I mean Doctor Strange is I think is a quite underrated uh, Marvel movie, personally. I think Doctor Strange and Ant-Man, kind of the weirder, more cosmic Avengers films, I, I really, really enjoy I think Doctor Strange is, he's basically just Iron Man, but you replace technology with spirituality. It's kind of, a, I, I think he's an interesting character. A lot of people don't believe Benedict Cumberbatch's uh, American accent. I think he did an okay job, to be honest. Uh, the next one is from Luke Sokol, uh, R.I.P. Uh, Transformers Prime on August 16th. That's coming up very soon. That'll, that'll, I mean, if, if you're a Transformers fan, you've got a, you've got like about a week or two. I don't know when this video is going up, probably at the start of August. But yeah, you've got a week or two before. I mean, that happens if you're a Transformers fan. I'm, I'm personally, again, not, not, I, I, I don't like the films, and it was never really a fan of the cartoons. I, I didn't really grow up in the 80s, never had those uh, sort of toys as a kid. Uh, but yeah, if you're a fan of Transformers Prime, uh, yeah, go, go, go try and watch that. Go, go, go get, no, that's a different property. 
GoBots? Is GoBots related to Transformers? I don't know. From MM Nation, God, you wrote a lot of these. Okay, um, Walking Dead got removed. Uh, I hate The Walking Dead. Uh, if you were in Australia, uh, you can actually watch The Walking Dead on Foxtel now. Uh, that's another subscription service that I've uh, subscribed to, my, my partner and I. Buddy, what are you doing? My partner and I, we, we both uh, watch a few things on Foxtel now. Uh, we watch on our PS4. I think it's a better subscription service than obviously just getting Foxtel. Obviously this is very Australian centric. MM Nation commented again, F and F12345 came out of nowhere. I don't know if you're saying that it's not on there anymore if they just took them off. Uh, big fan of the Fast and Furious films. Uh, they are absolutely amazing films. In terms of action uh, that's on Netflix, I highly suggest watching Annihilation. Annihilation is a very, very fun film. Uh, and uh, I, I think it was very, very, very misconstrued uh, from critics and, and uh, press when, when it originally came out. I, I think it's a very, it's action packed. It's very, very interesting. I uh, highly suggest that you watch that. Uh, rest in peace, Batman. Yeah, just just rest in peace, Batman. Uh, the only the only replacement I can suggest here is uh, obviously uh, some of the Marvel TV shows. That actually that actually brings up a very interesting question: is uh, because of the Marvel TV shows such as Luke Cage and uh, Jessica Jones uh, and obviously Daredevil are Netflix owned? I'm not quite sure if they're going to be removed from the service to go over to movies anyway. That's, ah, oh, that is very, very interesting. Uh, the next one from Sohan Yalagata. Uh, I used to be able to watch Air Buddies, now it's gone. That sucks. That's, well, I mean, Air Buddies, I mean, the whole Air Bud franchise is actually quite, quite spectacular. The, 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 the wonderful, wonderful, no, the, 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 the wonderful pieces of filmmaking. Um, they're not boastful, they're not proud. They're just, they're just there. They just exist to, to entertain people. Uh, for Air Buddies, the, the only replacement I can kind of suggest there uh, is there's a fantastic Netflix uh, animated series called Troll Hunters. Highly suggest watching that. Uh, it's, it's made by DreamWorks. It's very, very kid friendly. A lot of fun there. That junk commented, what happened to Grease? That's, that sucks. Grease is one of my favorite films. There is Grease 2. If you can find a copy of Grease 2, and Grease 2 is on Netflix right now in Australia, just watch Grease 2. Highly suggest Grease 2. CA7 Pranks commented, Why the fuck they take off Mean Girls? That's my shit. Mean Girls is an amazing uh, film written by Tina Fey and has uh, Lindsay Lohan probably just before her peak. Um, just before her peak. She, she, was, uh, she had a few good films after Mean Girls. Uh, Herbie Fully Loaded, Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. Yeah, I, I, I highly suggest watching Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt because uh, same writers, uh, a lot of very, very good humour. Uh, and just, just I, I would say a very, very pro-feminist message in, in, in that uh, in that TV series. Very, very funny. Um, just, just hilarious stuff. Uh, which actually, it, the the series ends at the end of this year because they're they're doing season four, which they've split into two parts. Um, they left an amazing and hilarious cliffhanger too, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, X Adri edits. Rest in peace, my childhood show Pingu. I loved Pingu, and you know what? To make you even sadder. The creator of Pingu died about a month ago. So, ah, fuck. I mean, there's not there's not a lot of claymation on Netflix, which is a bit of a bummer. You'd think that that would be uh, ripe for the picking for, 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 a, for a very unconventional, fascinating series. The only thing that I can actually, actually suggest there, is, and it's sadly not on Netflix, but you can watch it on adultswim.com, uh, is Moral Oral, uh, which is, <laughs> it's, not, it's not the same. It's not a childhood show. It's not even a child-friendly show. It's, it's created by Dina Stamatopoulos, who's, uh, who's a very, very, very funny uh, writer who's done amazing sort of sketch shows. So, I mean, yeah, you can look out for Moral Oral, uh, which is uh, sadly not on Netflix, but I, I highly suggest them. And the next one is from Alan Play Stuff. They removed Phineas and Ferb. Fuck! That was like the last good Disney cartoon. It was like up, it was fucking up there with like Fillmore and Recess and I'm real sorry. I'm, I'm real bummed out for you. Because uh, there's only 104 days of summer vacation, <laughs> but uh, yeah, again, that 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 sort of speaks to the movies anyway situation um, with Disney. Ah, oh, man, it's a real bummer. Fuck, I really love that show too. Happy Face 84 says the only reason I watched Netflix was because of Family Guy and Santa Clarita Diet. Uh, yeah, Family Guy got taken off, which is a bummer. It is on Hulu if you're in the US. Family Guy is on Hulu. Yeah, I, look, I, I was a huge fan of Family Guy back in the day. I I, I agree with. Seth MacFarlane in him wanting to kind of cancel the show when it when he thought it was good, uh, which is why he killed off Brian. He thought he would he would make sort of that play. Um, and he thought Fox would call his bluff. They did not, and obviously uh, Family Guy is still on TV and one of the highest rated shows 
on Sunday night on Fox. But yeah, that's a, it's a real shame. Family Guy's gone. My Wolf is rest in peace Digimon. Um, I, I was a much bigger fan of Digimon compared to Pokemon uh, when I was growing up. And I highly suggest just watching, again, there is, a, there is actually a weirdly a large amount of anime on uh, Netflix. So I, again, just, just, just try and find something that you kind of feel like looks good. From Rebecca Wyman, it made me so mad when they got rid of Salem. I just got Netflix back and the first thing I wanted to watch was Salem. I tried to watch it, didn't happen it, wait, <laughs> I tried to watch it, didn't happen, it wasn't even there, that broke my heart. I'm really sorry. Uh, that sucks. Salem's uh, I've heard that that's a, it's, it's a good show. It's uh, obviously about <laughs> which is I'm assuming I have no idea what Salem is about. If, uh, if Salem is the show that I'm assuming that it is, uh, Riverdale. Uh, Riverdale is on Netflix at the moment. Uh, I was just watching that. That's, uh, that. That should tie you over in the meantime. From Joshua Ortiz, Family Guy and the Cleveland Show. Ah, it's another one. Another one for Family Guy. Yeah, I just, I mean, look, there is a great, there's a great amount of adult animation on Netflix. I highly suggest BoJack Horseman. F is for Family. Uh, a lot of people thought F is for Family was going to just be like a Family Guy style ripoff sort of parody show. Um, but it's very, very funny. It's very, very true to life. Uh, and for those who are a big fan of Bill Burr, you, you're going to very obviously love him and his humor there. Outside, genius, there is no wall. Then I will build one and I will fucking put you through it. Star Wars dude commented, okay, I love Netflix. Hi. Good for you, Star Wars dude. Probably Star Wars is gonna get taken off Netflix. <laughs> uh, Cameron's Reactions and Podcast says, I was super excited of all the new movies added on Netflix this month, and then I realized they deleted The Office. I was almost done with that show. Yeah, I, The Office is one of my favorite shows as well. It's a real, real bummer that they took it off. I was actually in the US in November of last year. Uh, my partner and I, we were just real lazy, kind of chilled out. We watched The, the Office a lot. Uh, while we stayed in our Airbnb because it was too cold to go outside. And uh, yeah, and, and, then we, and then we found out right after we left that they, they, they took the office off Netflix. That was a real bummer. If you are in Australia, the office is on Stan, uh, which is, a, again, great, great sort of thing. A lot of, a lot of really good NBC sitcoms are on Stan, whether it's uh, Frasier, Community, Seinfeld, all of them are on Stan. I highly suggest all of those. Um, as for a recommendation on Netflix, fuck. Um, again, it would have to be The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. There's not a lot of uh, traditional, I say traditional, there's not a lot of sitcoms that I can, I highly suggest the, the, the original Office. The original Office is definitely on Netflix because they, they did acquire that because they're just big fans of Ricky Gervais over at Netflix. That's totally fine. That's, that's the, you, can, you can watch that. And that's it. That's all the recommendations I have. Holy shit, this was a much longer video than I thought it was going to be. Also, this is like maybe a tenth of the comments. There was literally uh, like a hundred and something comments. I'm really sorry I didn't get to all of them, but I will possibly do another video. Uh, but, but yeah, I hope you enjoy all those recommendations. I'm back, essentially. Uh, I will be producing four videos over the next month. I have a lot of stuff planned. I'm very, very excited. Some of them are just straight up reviews. For but I want to thank you guys so much for watching Harris about the stream uh, for, for all these year and a bit now. Like, you guys are fantastic. If you haven't already, please do subscribe down there. Click the little bell icon because there will be more videos coming out for the next month. It's been, uh, it's been really good getting back into the swing of things. Just, I've had to wait so much time to set things up. Uh, I now live with my, my girlfriend here in Sydney and uh, yeah, it's real, it's real nice. She's actually given me like a little setup. It's, it's real exciting to have my own place to kind of film stuff now, especially like this. Like I got like a proper mic set. It's so exciting. It's so very exciting. Thank you so much. I'm terrible at outros. I don't have like a sign off thing, but uh, yeah, thank you so much. And I uh, hope you enjoy, you enjoyed this video. Oh, that was, that was bad, that was real bad.